welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. This is Alyssa. Hi. And today we are going to be ranking the icons of Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not in my usual setup here. Today I am with Alyssa. She is a fellow Halloween Horror Nights enthusiast, and I thought today, why not rank the icons of Halloween Horror Nights? That I know nothing about. That she does not know anything about. <laughs> I've been to all the Halloween Horror Nights. I know nothing. We have been going to <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights since 2007. It's embarrassing. <laughs> and she, I don't pay attention. <laughs> she's a casual fan. She's a big casual fan of Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> Look, not everybody has the time to like get into all of the fucking. I just know every year they have somebody. There's somebody. They're always doing something. They're up to something. <laughs> I'm excited to go with you this year. Woo! Um, I know. Anyways, yeah. Well, as of this upload, if I can get it uploaded on time, this is gonna be uploaded on the day of. Opening. We're going today. We're going right now. <laughs> We're Come find us. If you find us, so give me something. <laughs> Just kidding. Please do not perceive us in real life. <laughs> so we're going to rank the icons. She doesn't know too much about them, so I'm just going to kind of give you the backstory, a couple of notes, show you, and then we're going to grade them. I figured to make things easier, we'll do like a A, B, C, D, F grading. Just Keep it okay. real simple. Okay. She used to be a teacher, so okay. she, that makes sense to me. She'll nail it. She'll nail it. We got this. We're drinking. We went to brunch. We did. And then we went to Spirit. We did. We had a good time. She got a cup. I got the best tumbler ever. I won't show you because it's a hot commodity. <laughs> <laughs> don't come to her house and steal it. So I'm going to go in order of appearance just to make sure that we don't like miss anybody. And just for reference, it's like three weeks before the event, so we don't know anything about this year's icons. Sinister and Surreal. So they're not going to be ranked in this video because, like, what the hell are we going to rank them on? We don't know anything about them yet. I only know their name as of right now. <laughs> <laughs> she has a fucking season pass. I give him a C. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even put him on the chart. <laughs> okay, the first one is Jack Schmidt, a.k.a. Jack the Clown. Okay, I know this one. Yeah, I'm sure you're very I've excited. seen his face. He was introduced, he was the first original icon. So there are- That's why I know he is. Yeah, there are other icons of the event that were like the Crypt Keeper, Beetlejuice, they're all considered icons, but we're like sticking straight to the original icons. So Jack the Clown, he was introduced in 2000 for the 10 years of fear or whatever. So um, they didn't have one until 10 years in. They had the Crypt Keeper and Beetlejuice, but oh, not an original. He's the first. <laughs> So he's the original icon. Um, he was one of two icons that have been uh, featured in the parks outside of Orlando. So the other parks, like Hollywood, doesn't really do icons. We're kind of the only park that does icons. Okay. So him and but they have the houses. Yeah, they do horror okay. nights, but they don't have icons like us. So he's one of the only two icons that have been featured outside. I'll mm -hmm, tell you mm -hmm. which the other one is later. Um, he was so his backstory. He was born in the Shady Book. Shady Brook Sanitarium. Um, he ran away from an abusive home and joined Dr. Oddfellow's Circus. Um, he, there's like a whole big backstory where he was like a murderer and then he went to Dr. Oddfellow and he went and he killed, um, he like killed a bunch of people and Dr. Oddfellow was like, ah, fuck. And he killed Jack and there's a whole big backstory between So them. is Jack the dead Jack or is he the live Jack? And he didn't, I don't know if he, okay, so they retconned his story with okay. Dr. Oddfellow last year, and okay. we'll get to that. So wasn't he the dead Jack last year? Um, Jack wasn't the icon last year. Okay. Dr. Dr. Oddfellow, Oddfellow was. Oh. Yeah, so like he, so Dr. Oddfellow killed Jack, but he didn't actually kill him. Mm -hmm. And then he came back, and so now this is like okay. the immortal Jack okay. the Clown. Okay. So that's who we keep getting, like he's, he's been the icon, what, 2000, 2001. He was the icon a few times. Yeah, he's like the that's ring, why. he's like the big kind of icon. Cause I keep saying him. Yeah, 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 to, uh, every like anniversary, he's kind of like the, the main right. guy. Right, D. <laughs> D, is that the grade you're giving him? <laughs> I see him too much, I don't, I don't that's know. That's fair, okay, 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 okay. You know what, D. <laughs> 
about a scientific list here, guys. If you want an in-depth list of the Halloween Horror Content icons, watch this video. Let me know. I'll make a whole separate video. Let me know in the comments below. I'll make a whole. Yeah, that's him. There, I made a whole document for you. You can look at him. He met. Um, does Does this picture do anything for you, Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears? See. But <laughs> still a D. All right. Honestly, I give him like a C. Like he's not my favorite, so You know what it is? There's nothing spectacular. He's a clown. Yeah, he's a scary clown. But then he gets killed. If he was the ghost scary dead clown. What if I told you he was he went to Lake Yola and he was in one of the swan boats? That means nothing to me. Okay. D Eddie Schmidt. <laughs> it's Jack's brother. Okay. He was originally meant to be the icon in two thousand and one, which would have been the year after Jack. Okay. What happened in September 2001? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, he was scrapped in 2001 after 9-11. They were like, Yikes. let's tone... Bad timing. Let's tone everything down. Did they even have Halloween Horror? They did. They, they was like, we're, are we going to do it? Are we not going to do it? They ended up doing it, but they changed everything. Bloody, gory, everything. They were like... It's spooky. It's it's ghosts. Like mm. they didn't make anything like ash or any. Yeah, okay. exactly. So they had to get rid of the chainsaw chainsaw wielding brother of Jack the Clown. But he's still technically an icon. Okay, he so he's seen, like a yeah, he's a big chainsaw. Okay. So um, he was meant to be in two thousand and one. They obviously went in a different direction. Eddie Schmidt is Jack's brother. He was also born in Shady Brook. He is right up your alley. Okay. Take this into consideration when you're grading him. Okay. He's obsessed with 80s slasher horror oh, movies. Okay, that's my homie. He's got burn mask. It burns all over his face because he had a whole like thing where but he But that's got also Freddy. But Freddy was a pedophile. But he Eddie was a pedophile. He's not a Eddie's not a pedophile okay. as far as I know. Freddy Eddie. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> He chainsaw wields, and he wasn't officially featured until HHN 30. He had his own scare zone of, like, slasher 80s movies. This okay. Is, this is Eddie. Okay, he's kind of got, like, a Hannibal Lecter look going on. Yeah, yeah, he wears that because he's got burns all over his face. Mm. C+. Plus. C+. Plus? Mm -hmm. All right, C+. Plus. I mean, that's fair. I like Eddie a lot. I think um, his his he's, like, super into 80s horror. And yeah, yeah, really yeah. Like he's got, like, a... Um, he's got a little bit of a... Ash, yeah, from Evil Dead, yeah, vibe, but like Hannibal Lecter, like Hannibal Lecter meets Ash from Evil Dead. <laughs> All they're gonna see is you tapping your leg <laughs> and me going, I got a tattoo, just got an Ash tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I forgot his name. <laughs> the next icon we have was technically Cindy Kane. Cindy was a little girl, okay, and they were gonna have her in 2003. And then there was like a bunch of child abductions that year. So, God damn! Yeah. <laughs> so Universal was like, "Have bad luck for a few years." Scratch that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, there's probably child abductions a lot of the time. Yeah, but I guess it was like a big national <laughs> influx of child abductions. So they were like, "Okay, we'll talk about her dad, Albert Kane." So Albert Kane is the caretaker. He was the father of Cindy Kane, and he. Um, so we never got to Cindy Kane. We don't know. Cindy, she never became a thing? She was never officially an icon. <laughs> she's been featured in like oh. houses okay. and stuff, but she's never been like her own thing. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, the ca caretaker was 2002 um, at Islands of Fear. He was a surgeon and he turned his Victorian mansion into a mortuary slash funeral parlor. First, he started going to the cemeteries and digging up bodies and doing experiments, and then he started gathering homeless people and doing that instead of them. Bad. Bad. Bad man. That's him. <laughs> going to the morgue to do it, he would have gotten a B. Doing it with homeless people? Bad. D minus. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> I can't get that. We'll know when we get to the end. hell. <laughs> Next one was in 2003, and that was Paul, Paolo Ravinsky, or the director. Now, he's one of my favorite icons. Is this supposed to influence me? No, no, I'm just letting you. I'm just, I'm talking to them. <laughs> hi. Who? Oh, no. hi. <laughs> he's one of my favorite icons, but um, 
So he's one of the other icons that, uh, besides Jack, that was featured in the other parks. So no other icons besides Jack and the director have been seen. Now in other parks, his backstory is a little bit different, but basically he's a Eastern European film director okay. who does snuff films, Ooh. torture, okay. torture yeah. films. Um, he's a real pretentious director type. So like all of his um, commercials were like film art. You know, he's like sitting in a movie theater and he's like really pretentious okay. about it. Um, so this is him. So you like... <laughs> B plus. B plus! Yeah! B plus. I love him. Yeah. I love him. Douchey guy that, uh, directs... Art director? Yeah, that thinks I mean, snuff films are art. That's what I'm B+. saying. Like, I just can't... I gotta, I gotta give it to the pretentious art guy. Like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that does it. It's, it's this for me. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I'll put the pictures and videos on the The next two icons are the same year. And I'll explain. The first one is the Terra Queen. Don't look at her yet. You'll be influenced. <laughs> so she was one of two icons in 2005, which is the last year of Halloween Horror Nights in Islands of Adventure. Um, so the, they turned all of Islands of Adventure into something called Terra Cruentis, which is like kind of like almost like a D&D overlay, like really fantasy. Okay. Um, and so she ruled over Terra Cruentis. And so she couldn't speak. She had a translator called Eelmouth. She rode a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. um, everybody worshipped her, and she did, like, a blood ritual every day. Okay. Every, like, hour or whatever. Every hour? Every, like, yeah, blood. it was like a, sh you know, like a show. A lot of blood. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the Terra Queen. Um, she's often forgotten in these lists because of the second character that year. But here's the Terra Queen. I'm gonna tell you, she's often forgotten, and I'll forget her too. Oh, look at her motorcycle though. Sorry. <gasps> look at her motorcycle and bones. This picture is cool. Yeah. See, she looks cool as hell here. Okay. Go back to the first one. She's the boobs. Is this? I put this because of the boobs. Oh. I figured you'd see the boobs. Good boobs. But <laughs> this makeup is fantastic. Yeah, she looks amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. C minus. C minus for the target. Now. The reason that there is a second icon this year is because they said the filthy casuals of the event who don't care about the icons in the story, they're not going to fucking understand the Terra Queen. So let's do the storyteller. Okay. The storyteller is an old lady. Oh. The rumor is universal marketing was like, yeah, they're not going to know anything about the Terra Queen. So let's get an old lady to tell the story of Terra Cruentis. And so... Okay. They made her like a more palatable icon for the masses, which I get, but also it's like, have faith in your fan base. Right. Um, so she was the narrator of the Terra Quinta story as a child. She ate some evil winged creature and absorbed its evil. I don't know. She's an old lady who tells creepy stories, and this is her. She's getting up. <laughs> <gasps> the homeless <laughs> killer. <laughs> The old storyteller lady gets an F. Without hesitation. <laughs> okay, so we're now in 2008 okay. with Mary, Dr. Mary Agana, Bloody Mary. I remember this one because we were there for this. She's one of, I think, in my opinion, 2007, 2008. So 2007 was the first year we went with Jack and Carnival of Carnage mm -hmm. and all that. I think, in my personal opinion, 2007 is really where Halloween Horror Nights started to become what it is. You know what I mean? Like the big event. Because that was like such a top two. Well, it's tier. iconic with at that point. Freddy and Leatherface oh, yeah. and all yeah, of that. Running like, through Friday the 13th, can't forget. Yeah. So 2008 had Bloody Mary, which is not technically an original character, but the backstory that they gave her is original, so okay. I'm counting her. Um, so she was originally a psychiatrist, hence Dr. Mary Agana. Um, so this year they had a really in-depth backstory that fans could read about through regularly updated journals found on interactive HHN websites, which you can see my previous video if you want to see those websites. 
Um, she was a 1950s psychiatric doctor who slowly went insane and she wrote in her journal, which you could read as a fan, like you could read her journal, like where she slowly started torturing her patients. Apparently she like received an evil jewelry box that like started possessing her or whatever. This is Bloody Mary. She's really 2008, like, what's that band? Wake me up, wake me up. That's what she looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Lee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got a real Amy Lee vibe here. I'm gonna be honest, she's an A for me. Oh, I love that, me too, I love her. She's an A for me, only because it may be a nostalgic thing because I remember being able to read her shit. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm I remember nice. how iconic it was, <laughs> her being a, like an icon. Yeah. And rather than the other ones just feel like they just shove them in there. Yeah. And this was very planned out. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Why she this was me. like I'm telling you, this was one of the very first, I think, like really thought out. And like I said, uh, I'll, I'll link it below where you can go and actually still check out. There's a website called, I think it's HorrorNightNightmares.com, and they have taken all of the old websites from Halloween Horror Nights, and they've uploaded Oh, that's really cool. Where you can click actually through it still all. Actually, do it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's all usable, and it's really cool. You can read her journal entries and everything. So, yeah, A, a for sure, A for sure. All right, so the next one in 2009 was uh, Julian Browning, a.k.a. The Usher. Okay. Do you remember him? The, I didn't yeah, go this year. Ish, ish. I remember him. Yeah, yeah, I didn't go this year. This was the yeah. rip from the silver screen year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Usher was, uh, he was an usher at the Universal Palace Theater. And the guy with the hat, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And he, <laughs> <laughs> everyone has a hat. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. She'll put a picture right oh, here of him with a hat on. Oh yeah, the top of the hat. He worked at the Universal Palace Theater. He loved horror movies. He was very strict on following the rules. So, um, if there were people talking in the theater, he's shushing you, all that stuff. Um, apparently, because of that, he got into a fight with a moviegoer that resulted in his death, but now he haunts the theater. So he's kind of like a phantom of the opera type. Which no, I guess he's a phantom of the Megaplex. Yeah, I love that movie. Right, it's so, so good. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the usher. He's got his hat. The fucking hat! See? I thought you had that hat, B. B? I like the usher. Yeah, I do like yeah, the usher. Okay. Yeah, he's one of my faves, too. Yeah. So for 20 years of fear, 20 year anniversary, mm -hmm. fear itself was the. 27. Huh? 27. 27. Yeah. What did I say? 20. Well, you said 20 years, so I yeah. didn't map. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same age as Halloween Army. Um, me too, but until COVID. now they, yeah, yeah, now they changed it. So for 20 years of fears, the anniversary icon was fear itself. Um, he kind of rules over all the other icons. They're his minions. Um, he lived in a lantern for 20 years. And then I mentioned Legendary Truth with the Bloody Mary year. Uh -huh. They basically did a spell or did a puzzle or whatever and they broke him out of the lantern. And this is fear himself. Got his little 20. Fear is a solid oh. F for me. F. That's fair. Yeah, he's not. He, he doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. He sexually. Was, <laughs> <laughs> he was not. He was not like really a well-loved icon. They really don't talk about him anymore. I had no idea he existed yeah. this moment. And I went this year. Yeah. <laughs> they had all the icons, all the anniversary icons. And like Jack is kind of what fear should have been, but Okay. Yeah. Jack is still just, he's top dog. Right. Halloween Horror Nights 21, um, they did Lady Luck, mm -hmm. and she was a shape-shifting succubus that caused bad luck. Um, she used a roulette wheel to... I remember her. Victim. Yeah. I love her. I just yeah. Her. Um, she was the last icons for a while. They stopped doing... I was going to say, I... That's one of the last ones I remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they stopped doing the icons for a while, but she didn't have her own house, but she was kind of intertwined with all of the house. I think she had her own scare zone. So that's Lady Luck. I don't know why she's in a park. Um, but yeah, that's her. Yeah, no, I give I give Lady Luck a B. Yeah, I love Lady Luck. Yeah. She I think she's an underrated icon, but I do like her. I, I do remember her. Yeah. So like yeah. as long as it's memorable for me. And well, I'm not somebody around, that was gonna remember these people. Around two thousand and one our prefrontal cortexes started feeling developing. <laughs> 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 
starting to develop, so we like really haven't been. I was 21 now, yeah. so now is when I start drinking heavily. <laughs> We're gonna lose all the ones after. Yeah, that's no. why this is the last she one. For she me. remembers two icons <laughs> so far. <laughs> one of them is Lady Luck, and the other one is Bloody Mary. You know what? Girl power. <laughs> Okay, so back in, in 2016, five years after Lady Luck, they started bringing back icons again, and this one was Chance. Okay. So Chance first originally appeared in 2007 alongside Jack at the Carnival of Carnage. They had a sideshow show, and she was at there. And then um, she became her own icon in 2016. Um, she's kind of Jack's right-hand woman, and in my opinion, she's kind of like an off-brand Harley Quinn. Okay, yeah, I remember her. She's fine, but like... No, she's a C minus. Yeah, she's a... I like that. Hot! She got the upgrade. Thank the body. You could do this. You could be her. I could be her. Thank you. But like... Thank you. Yeah. Could I be her? She's <laughs> you got the You got the pigtails and everything. Yeah, I got the spade on. You could do it. Yeah. Right, we're coming out. We got two left. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. So, this next one was featured in... 2022. Now it gets after COVID. I'm like the years are different than the. I know. Years so 2022 is gonna be 21. Yeah, exactly. So um, he's the Pumpkin Lord. Do you remember the Pumpkin Lord? I remember Trick or Treat. The Pumpkin Lord. No, that was but a completely different year. But Sam in Trick or Treat Scare Zone had the pumpkin head. This is so different. The Pumpkin Lord was first featured in Wicked Growth in 2021. Um, but then he got his own um, scare zone in 2022. So, like, he's actually heavily debated whether or not he's actually an icon, but I'm deciding for everyone. It's oh, an icon. Okay. He's, he's an, an icon. icon. He's a legend. Okay. Um, first, he was just he, he was just once a twisted heap of vines, but he grows more and more every year, and he gets his power by tricking people into celebrating Halloween. All hail pumpkin lord. Okay, so he's kind of similar to Pumpkinhead. He never saw Pumpkinhead. Oh, no. he looks way better than Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead does not look like this. I don't know who Pumpkinhead is. It's an 80s movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think of Pumpkin Lord? He had a scare. He was like the very front of the park. He sat in a pumpkin. No, I like know exactly what know this is. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, I can't respect him. No, that's fair. Okay. What grade? C? D? Go back up. Oh my god. I gave her a C minus? Yeah. Mm, gotta give him a D. D, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. He, yeah. Like a solid D. Part of the final one. Okay. This is the most recent icon up to this year, which, like I said, Sinister and Surreal. I don't know anything about them, so I can't greet them. Thirsties. <laughs> and this is Dr. Oddfellow. Okay. He was 2023's icon. He was also kind of heavily debated whether he's an icon, but like, how can you not? He was... Literally incorporated into every single scare zone and almost every original content house of last year. Like, he right. is an icon. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Um, he was retconned from his original origins with Jack the Clown a little bit. So, Jack the Clown went to Dr. Oddfellow. He's like, the cops are after me. I killed all these people. Dr. Oddfellow. So, Dr. Oddfellow, Jack, and Eddie were all, like, part of the same. <laughs> Eddie never, I don't think Eddie ran away to the circus. Okay. So when Jack ran away, he ran away to Dr. Oddfellow's circus. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So Dr. Oddfellow is the ringleader of the circus. Mm -hmm. He killed Jack. But at that point, this is where the retcon comes in. Okay. At that point in this new story, um, Dr. Oddfellow is an immortal. So when he was killing Jack, Jack scratched Dr. Oddfellow, whatever, got some of his blood. And now Jack's immortal. Mm -hmm. So that's how Jack is still alive. Okay. But, um, so yeah, Dr. Oddfellow, he is a horoscope girly. He loves the horoscope girly. <laughs> I the, have one. He's the horoscope girly. I'm a Scorpio. Um, I don't know what he is. Probably like a Gemini. Um, he <laughs> was, <laughs> canonically, he was at Woodstock 69. Vamp 69? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he killed Jack the Clown back in the 30s or whatever it was. Probably my favorite icon, and like I said, he was um, in. He was tied to every non-IP house in Scare Zone. So this is the original Doctor Oddfellow. Okay, so you can see how it's different. 
<laughs> yeah. This is modern day. I'm yes. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. This guy was great. Fucking loved him. Great walking around the park. Loved this is him. probably one of the fr except yes. for um the usher. The mm -hmm. usher I remember being around the park. Yeah. This is the one I remember seeing around the park, mm -hmm. interacting throughout the entire park. He's an A. A plus. Yeah, he's an A. Yeah, he's my probably my favorite icon. Yeah. They did so much good work with him. I think at this point they're like so they they understand what icons need to be and like he was just Well, they have to be there. If they're the icon, they're the host of exactly. the event. They need to be a part of the event. Yeah. So A plus for Doctor. Did not know who he was. I just knew I saw him around the whole park mm -hmm. when I was there. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh, it makes a lot more sense just, now. If only I paid attention. Anyway, this is the official ranking. I'll put it up right here. We got all of the rankings. Wow. If you if you disagree, right here. this is where she put them. <laughs> if you disagree with these rankings, argue with us in the comments below. I don't care. I <laughs> joining me and ranking these videos. If you like Alyssa, let me know in the comments and I'll make her do more of these with me. <laughs> also, if you like horror and you like art, she makes horror art. Her Instagram will be linked below. What is it? Slice of Alyssa? It is. Yeah, I'll link those below. You should buy some stuff from her. They're Thanks. really amazing. Um, and if you want to see more from me, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and thank you guys so much for watching. See you all in the fog. It's $30 on one. Fucking drink it. <laughs> I didn't like it.